Good morning. I am so excited for this week's coffee date. As you can see, I am incredibly barefaced. So we're going to do a quick get ready with me um, in place of me having a cup of coffee uh, because I have not made it downstairs yet. So I have not actually made coffee. <laughs> So y'all are gonna get ready with me real quick um, and then I'm gonna tell you the coffee that I'm going to get. So if you're ready for a quick get ready with me and a coffee date all mixed into one, grab your cups or grab your makeup brushes and let's go. Okay, so as you can see, like I said, I am completely barefaced. I have not made it downstairs. All that is done is my hair and that's because I washed it yesterday <laughs> but I need to get ready and so I wanted to get ready with you and see if we could do that in about 10 minutes can we get ready together in 10 minutes that is really um, going to hold me to it um, but I'm going to say before we get started glowing skin courtesy of renewed skin bar with Jordan Cobb she is getting my skin together um I don't know if I've talked to you guys about how I've been breaking out and I've had these dark marks on my face y'all she is bomb she's here in Gainesville um I will tag her so that you can get in contact with her and she can get your skin together especially during these winter months so glowing skin courtesy of her and before we get into the get ready with me I wanted to get our scripture together. So today's scripture is going to be from one of my scripture banks in my book, Faith Goals. Um, if you haven't read it before or if you haven't purchased your copy, I highly suggest doing it. As you can see, I use it for my own personal study and growth. Um, there are scriptures or affirmations, there are stories, there is word. Um, it is, it is a blessing. It is a blessing. And I say it not because I wrote it, but because God gave it. And so on page 127 in one of my scripture banks, there is this scripture. So 1 Samuel 15, 22, and this is the New King James Version. And it says, so Samuel said, has the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice and to heed than the fat of rams. We have all heard to obey is better than sacrifice. Obedience is better than sacrifice. We've all heard that. But I thought it was important to read the entire verse so we could have some context. So again, this is 1 Samuel 15, 22, New King James Version. And it says, so Samuel said, has the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord. Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice and to heed than the fat of rams. That is huge because it's important that we read the whole scripture so that we have context because it puts into perspective this uh moment of when Saul was told to do something very specific he was told to not only when he defeated um the enemy but to kill everything the king the queen the people the children the animals burn it all get rid of it all don't take nothing from there no 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 uh, jewelry no rams no furs no concubines no nada right no nada and Saul made a decision I'm gonna start with my um SPF I use the Tula protect and glow this one is great guys so if you have not tried that feel free to take my recommendation on it it is bomb always 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 have your SPF so anyways so you know Saul had made this decision like I'm going to help God be God like I know he told me to get rid of everything I know that he told me that once I conquered to destroy it all but there are there's so many good things here I'm going to save the best of the best for him and I'm going to save it to sacrifice I'm going to save it to sacrifice and God was like you tried it that's not what I told you to do it's literally not what I told you to do my uh, moisturizer is uh, Basha um, Subaki Swirl. This is my favorite, favorite moisturizer. As you can see, it's almost out. I have an extra one. I buy them in bulk uh, when I can find them at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, and that's the Basha Subaki Swirl. It's really, really good. 
Um, and he was like, oh, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to help God out. I'm going to thank him for giving me this victory by saving the best. So I'm going to have the best ram saved, the best cow saved for sacrifices. I'm going to save the best um, of the treasure. And Samuel popped up and he was like, hold up player. That's not what God told you to do. God made it very specific that you have to destroy everything. And because you are not listening, you're going to pay for that. But what I want us to take from this, we're going into this week, is this idea that we have to go above and beyond and do more than what he's actually called us to do to please him. That is not how God works. I am going to use the Kat Von D vegan, um, the True Portrait Liquid to Powder Foundation. I'm in tan 60. Um, so hold on, it's gonna it's gonna make a little noise. Give me a second. I like to make sure it's mixed up. Um, and we go above and beyond, and we do the most, and we create all this hoopla, and we have theatrics attached to things. And God is like, I didn't tell you to do that. I didn't call you to that. I called you to defeat this stronghold and to set up my kingdom in its place and then you'll deliver the people that are needed into that space that's what he told us to do but we create these extra things and do and offer him more than what he has asked of us and we have not only wasted his time but we have wasted our resources and we have wasted our purpose on things that have nothing to do with us and this week when you're going into it there are going to be opportunities for you to obey the voice and the instructions of God and you're going to be like oh I can do better than that God I can do a little bit more than that for you. I can create this. I can um, help people. I can save the fat for you, God. I can save the gold for you, the treasure for you, Jesus. I can do all of these things. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Resist the urge to do better for him. And that sounds crazy, but it's because your idea of better and perfection, your idea of righteousness is as filthy rags to him. So what you're thinking is going to bless him is really going to encumber the vision that he has for you. And he's asking you to get rid of bondage, not create more. Not create more. Not create more. We get so caught up in what we believe is a sacrifice that we forget what the assignment is. God, since you're asking me to do X, Y, Z, I'm going to be sacrificing, you know, this opportunity. or I'm going to be sacrificing my restaurant, I'm going to be sacrificing this. I'm going to go ahead and go and do all the sacrifice, right? And God is like, I'm not asking you to do that. I'm asking you to focus on the assignment. There are certain things that you're going to have to get rid of and walk away from. Absolutely. There are going to be some things that cause you to completely annihilate and and dead i'm gonna i'm going to call you to that that's it though i don't need anything else that is the sacrifice the things that you think i want from you i'm going to tell you to get rid of the thing that you think you are best at i'm gonna tell you guess what we're wiping our hands of that and we're moving on we're wiping our hands of that and we're moving on and that that's the sacrifice. That's the one that he's looking for. He's looking for a sacrifice of obedience when it doesn't make sense to you. That's what he's looking for. I'm using the Kat Von D blush, y'all. Um, and this is Fox Glove. And this is a really good, like, natural blush. So, it had a little glow, but I don't like, like, a mom that did too much when she's dropping her children off. I look like a mom who works from home on Mondays. And got up. I was intentional about not looking busted, but not wearing sequins, right? Don't get so focused on the sacrifice that you forget the assignment. What you believe 
is better for God is detrimental to his vision. It's detrimental. God knew the end from the beginning. And so he knows what needs to be done in between to effectuate the end. You doing extra adds more speed bumps and hiccups than you realize. Just like Saul didn't realize that by saving some of this stuff, he was actually creating more strongholds. He was actually feeding sin and pride and ego. He was doing those things. And we have to be careful with that because, again, You'll tell God, I'm offering you the best. I know you said this, but I'm offering you the best because I understand what the best is. And he's like, how do you understand what the best is? You ain't create nothing. I created it. How do you understand what the best is when you have absolutely no idea how to effectuate my purpose without me? How do you know what the best is? How do you know that what I'm asking for is not enough when I have created all How do you know that what I've asked for is not enough when I have created all? Walk away from the additional sacrifices that he has not asked you to make and make the ones he's asked you to make to effectuate the assignment. You are going to have to burn, annihilate, leave, cast down some of those things that you think are your best opportunities. Your best opportunities. And you're going to have to do it and not look back. You're going to have to do it and not try to help God change his mind. You're going to have to do it and understand this is a part of my assignment. This sacrifice that makes absolutely no sense is a part of my assignment. Get there. Because this week there are going to be some things that pop up. And you're like, ooh, 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 ooh. I, this is a great opportunity for me. This is the best that I can offer God. I can have access to more things for him. And he's going to be telling you, burn that. Get rid of that offer. Don't do that. Don't partner with this person. Don't do X, Y, Z. Or I need you to sacrifice your time in this area and not this area. You may be thinking that um, it's time for you to quit your job and do X, Y, Z. And God's like, actually, no. I need you to stay on that job for a little bit longer and sacrifice your sleep a little more to work on your on this business plan because it's not where it needs to be. <laughs> And I don't know who that was for. It was probably for me. <laughs> but for real, for real, don't do the extra sacrifices. Do the assignment. Do the assignment this week. So, I think that this is one of the most quoted scriptures. But it is not as delved into as it needs to be. Because we forget that it wasn't just the sacrifice that got him in trouble it was the lack of completion the lack of completing the assignment that also got him in trouble it was a whole assignment the additional sacrifices left the assignment open you've got to do what you've been called to do and you've got to do it the way he says not the way you feel but the way he says and so this week you're going to have some opportunities to do that so that's it that's all i got so, obviously, I don't have any coffee, but I told you I was going to get some today. My coffee is going to be from Starbucks. They have a new iced almond milk cookie um, latte. I am going to try it. I know I'm on keto. Y'all mind your business. I'm going to get sugar-free um, vanilla syrup, and I'm going to, or whatever their syrup is, I'm going to get sugar-free version of that. Um, and almond milk I can have on keto. So, I've already worked it out. Mm. <laughs> So I'm excited. I hope that this has been helpful to you. Thank you for getting ready with me and keeping me off task. Um, I'm going to spray my face with Milani Make It Last Original. I don't know if you guys can see this. That's what I'm going to do. So give me two seconds. Ooh. Ooh. <coughs> Hold 1 Samuel 5 and 22 or 15 and 22, first Samuel 15, 22, in your hearts this week. You're going to need it. I believe that it's going to be a blessing to you and everyone that you come in contact with when you have been obedient to his word. Have a wonderful day, pretty. I will. Bye.